Hello. And welcome back to Taz Wells 12. You are here again on my YouTube channel, which is Taz Wells 12. You are with the host who is me, Tara Wells, and I'm gonna bring you a new video today. This is gonna be a makeup sort of tutorial, sort of review on this channel today. I haven't done one of these for ages. This is gonna be a little bit new for me because I haven't done one in such a long time, but I wanna get back into these. I've had big views on these videos certain aspects so we'll get on to that before we get on to the video and i show you what the product we're going to review today i just want to say that i am not sponsored by any of the products or any of the places that i did get this makeup product from it's out of my own money i picked up on the random or i pretty much fancied the look of it so i picked it up and thought it was a good review i'm not sponsored in any way i just want to say if you do like the video and you do like what's going on with these makeup reviews and tutorials then please give it a massive thumbs up because i really want to get into these videos again if you like any of my videos or any of my content and you like it as a whole then remember to join the little love family and hit the subscribe button to taz world 12 and you can join the, like i said the little love family if you hit the, the bell button then that will notify you when i've uploaded a new video there is a clickable button on my main page on youtube which is for instagram and twitter so if you can check them out or follow me on there please that would be great too i think that's everything let's get on into the product and the review and the tutorial the product that i am going to review and have a little go and show you today is i will probably only use one of these today i will only probably have a go at the light one because that's kind of the one i want to go but that's a more darker one but we'll talk about that in a minute the product i'm going to review is the physics formula so this is american brand this is not something that you can normally get in the uk from any shops but I actually picked this up in Home Bargains. They had so much of this makeup going on and they only had um, pretty much all of the range. It was at like £1.49. It was so cheap and to get this from America is crazy money for us at the moment. Plus postage and packaging and any like extra fees if you get it from America, yeah, you'll be added on to that. This from Physics Formula. It's the Youthful Wear Spotless Foundation. And why I love this was this was really, really great because it comes in a lovely glass bottle. You get 12M in there. This is a medium beige one. And you basically get it as a little twisty and a little drop. I'm gonna have to mix this up because I have definitely not used this. I've wanted to use this, but I've waited to do one of the reasons reviews with you guys to see and show you what these are like i don't think it's a full coverage foundation i think it's literally just a normal nice daily foundation you could wear this on a night out but you would basically maybe have to layer it up if that makes sense it has got spf 15 in it so if you did want to use this while you're on holiday and you wanted to go in the sun not a lot of people do wear makeup but some people do this has got spf 15 in it so that's really really good i'm going to try this out to you today the light one the other one i was talking about that was in medium i did pick these up i couldn't see when they were in the packets what colors they were i just had to go with it and then i found quite a nice medium sort of color which is a little bit darker but then i got a lighter one just in case i wanted to use a bit more bronze that day so we're going to use the light one i'm just going to use it with this makeup brushes that i absolutely love and think they're a bargain they are from primark they are just this like gold rim and gold brush and it's called the liquid foundation brush and then it looks on top like this this one's a bit messy because i've actually cleaned it and then in the middle you get like a little hole but i don't use that little hole i just put the foundation on my face normally and then just buff it in with this but these brushes are great 
they clean up really nice if you ever want a bargain brush please go down the primark when we can get back in there but these are really really good i can't remember what they are they're not gonna break your bank balance they're really nice also in the little box you actually got a little brush of it which actually is really cute really really nice it's really soft I had a go of it on my face and it feels really really soft but I'm not going to use this for the foundation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush video with you today as well but I'm actually going to use it with my normal concealer this is the one from this is the Revolution Conceal and Define in Finna and it is 16 hour wear and I get mine in shade C2 so what I'm going to do is a foundation first we can review that I'm going to put concealer over the top of it as well so we can see what that looks nice. See how this little brush works because this came with the product. And then I will go over with translucent powder just to powder over and see how it affects it that way. So we're giving it a big old review and trying everything on top of it so we know what it proper works with. Anyway, of that, let's get into the little review and i will clip my hair up I've now just clipped my hair up yes this is not the greatest look but it's going to be the easiest way of you seeing what the foundation looks like on my face and everything but what i'm going to do first i'm just going to clean everything up because you obviously can see this is all a bit like mank you could say that it's all a bit greasy and we want a basically a nice clean base that the foundation go on so i'm just going to grab some makeup wipes and do that quickly I wiped over a bit really quickly with a makeup wipe just to take any oils or anything that's still there on the skin so that is done the next thing i am going to go on to is prime my skin i'm going to prime it with my good old trusty primer i do use this absolutely loads I think this is another one I got from Home Bargains or B&M at a bargain price than it already is. So this is the W7 Princess Potion. It's a complexion booster and primer and it is just insane. If I just open it, look, you can see that colour. It doesn't stay that colour on your face. Probably for like two or three minutes it will you have a little bit of redness. But I am going to put you on a time lapse so you can see all this. I've just done all my primer. I'm just going to give this a good shake because you saw that it was pretty sort of cleansed together on the top in the dropper. So if we give us a good shake because I haven't actually used this. Now, if I actually open this up, do the dropper. Okay, it's quite watery consistency. I don't know if it's meant to be like that. We'll give it what it's like. I don't know if the drop is working, so that's a really good start, but it doesn't matter because we've seen that it's really, really watery. Wow, like, why is it like that? Yeah, it's definitely not coming out the dropper, so that's not a good sign. Might have to just drop in a couple of times and just do it this way. So I'm trying to put as much as I normally would on as my foundation and, and then what we do is we will wipe this in and maybe go over with another layer. I'm not getting what I'm meant to if that makes sense. So I've got my foundation brush so let's just rub this in. It's a little bit like darker than I thought it was going to be actually, strangely, but it's rubbing it in. It has such a weird smell to it as well. It's like got a herbal smell, which is strange. just want to see if that's okay this one i've got as well this one sounds really liquidy as well oh i don't know maybe they're like a liquidy foundation i've never seen anything consistent like this let's go for this again because that was one layer but that clearly is not gonna give me what we want and it's not like 
blending like i'm not getting as much as i probably should be doing as well put a little bit down here eyebrows right let's just go for it like at the end of the day so i need this to blend a little bit yeah. Not much, too much pick up on my brush, which is good. But we do want to blend this in. We do want a good, sort of consistent colour across my face. Like I said, the con like the product consistency of it is rubbing in really well. Like it's blending in nice. Like. I don't have a problem with that, like, I'm getting what I want, but I'm not if, I'm not sure if this is oxidising as well, that's what, I'm getting a little bit confused as, it doesn't really help that the dropper doesn't work, because, I don't know if that's oxidised, I don't know if I look orange now, I'm going to have to go and look at this in a different light. Like, I, I thought by the packaging that was going to be lighter. But hey ho, we are. This is the whole point of this video for you to see, you guys. I'm going to be back in about two or three minutes. And I will see if this is like oxidised a little bit. Right, I'm back. Um. It is looking very oxidised. I probably look a lot more orange on my camera than I actually do in person. In person, it has oxidised a little bit because I've had to bring it a lot more like down my neck, which is not a problem because I'm glad I didn't put like any more than I've done on and I've proper blended it out now. The next step is we're gonna use a concealer and my concealer's light, so I know this is gonna save me a little bit. Concealer with the little brush that came with it. I know this is pretty light, this concealer. I like my, normally I like my foundation to be a little bit lighter, but then sometimes all the sorts are the same shade or I like it a little bit darker. So we could get away with this. So I'm just going to put the concealer on my normal areas that I would and we can put any spots on my chin, my brows, any like blemishes that you want to get rid of, that's it. And then we're going to try this because this felt really soft but I didn't think it was a foundation brush, I thought it was more of a concealer brush. Yeah. But we will see. I might have completely messed this up. Normally I would time lapse this for you guys, but I don't I don't sometimes think that's sort of shows you the way. This is why I didn't want to use it, because look. Also it gets your brush really messy. Do you know what? I didn't think, that, I thought this was going to be a lot softer than it was, but it's a bit more denser, which I kind of like a little bit, because you feel like you're getting in there, if that makes sense. I'm going to go over this powder as well. To like blend in. Do now is get my foundation brush and go back in my places. I think I've gone a little bit like too much of it and blend the both in together. That makes sense. brush did actually work I'll probably we put that in my makeup bag it actually 
so I've blended it in and then I've just kind of gone over with my foundation brush to sort of blend the both in so I think now that is kind of took a lot of like down which is really great we're gonna leave that a couple of minutes because I just want that to cinch in my face I know what the concealer's like concealer is really really good just wanted to know what the foundation is gonna do if that makes sense I don't think it looks as bad now because I have put a bit of concealer on it's kind of blended in if you were going to use this i'd be very very careful how you blended it in we've obviously used the medium beige this time but what i could do in another review is use the medium shade and see how that one is because this i thought was going to be a lot lighter than what it was and when it's come on my face it was quite a little bit orangey so i'm a little bit shocked because that looks really light and then this one is meant to be darker i'm a little bit confused right now but what i'm gonna do is i uh will do that one in another review i think this died down sort of like a little bit so that's all synced in my skin i'm gonna use a powder all over my face so like i said i'm just gonna use a translucent powder i'm just gonna use this brush big massive powder brush that i absolutely love from spectrum it's the ao1 really good fluffy brush and i'm just going to use this set and reflect finishing kit from mua lux i got this in poundland like yonks ago i bought absolutely loads of these because you get a little mirror and you get a highlight and then underneath you get like a finishing powder and i've used this absolutely loads you can see where really grotty my makeup has been in there the brush has been in there this is really really good powder i only got these for a pound in poundland good little bargain it's just literally like a nice tr translucent powder and then we're just gonna go like all over the face everywhere that i've put that foundation basically right so you make sure every area is covered with powder normally i would use a consistent powder like this or i use a banana powder in this case i wouldn't use a banana powder because literally the foundation came out a little bit orange but this will like turn it down basically with a concealer so anytime you panic you think oh my god if i put to a foundation too dark on my face unless it's extremely dark then you have no way of getting back but if you've done like two or three shades darker than you normally do then always go for a light concealer and a translucent powder and it does the job well so basically let's have a look at this foundation this foundation to me was good for its price £1.49 um you can't really go wrong with that because normally a normal foundation price is about £12 and it can be quite expensive so you, yeah that £1.49 for that was really really good they went jumping off the shelf i am not surprised the other thing is it's not full coverage i don't think it's buildable either because i don't know if you can see you can still see my spots so if you want a full coverage foundation it is definitely not because you can see some of my like red areas are gone pretty much but any little knickknack spots you can see still so definitely not full coverage and it's not buildable that's just say that unless you put loads on your face and make it cake face but you don't want to do that because that was coming up as orange so we don't want that it works really well with the concealer i have a line here that basically creases all the time but that's the only one all the other like here is done really really well normally it will crease really bad but that's not creased the only other thing i didn't like was the con consistency 
I don't know if you can hear that, but that is literally like water. I don't know why. That might just be because it is like a light foundation. That's the only bit I didn't like. I love the packaging. I love this, like, the little purple spots. I love all the purple. The only thing I didn't like was the dropper didn't work on this one. Not quite sure about that one, but it definitely didn't work on that one. So it's a lot harder to get the foundation out. Not too keen on droppers anyway, at the best of times. You know what, if I was going out for the day, or if I did actually want to use that abroad, that would be pretty much a good foundation because it literally does do what it is. I don't know if it's a youthful wear, but if you are on holiday and you want the SPF in your foundation, then go for it and it's lightweight. You don't want something heavy when you're in the sun. So if you wanted, you were not feeling much, very comfortable that day about your skin, then this would be really good to put it on. I normally wouldn't advise it, but if you want to go that down that way it would help i think that's everything i think my skin doesn't look too bad i'll show you i'm not completely mad at it i think you know what to be fair for one pound 49 that was a really good foundation I'm just gonna Put my hair down that and is unfortunately the end of the video on the review or tutorial about the youthful wear spotless foundation which is from physics formula you know what if you actually do see this in your home bargains i would buy it you know what it could be a backup version or holiday version of your foundation when we are allowed to go so there's always that in the back pocket for one pound 49 wasn't that bad like i said i have toned that down really lots so I'm actually quite impressed with that. The little brush came with it was really, really nice. I'm going to keep that and put that in my makeup bag. I hope that you did like this video. If you did and it helped the device and you were maybe looking at this foundation or any physics formula product or foundation, then I hope this review has helped you. If you did, then please give it a massive thumbs up. If you like any of my content and you like today's video and you like some other videos that I've done, like I said, you can join the Little Love family. Subscribe to Taz Wells 12. Also, you can hit the notification button, which is the bell button, notified when a new video comes up. You can also comment down below. I will 100% comment back to you in a little chat. Oh, I'm not sponsored. I am not sponsored in any way. Thank you for watching as always. I hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for your support and I will see you soon. Bye.